I'm Susan, and this is Tech Tips with Language Tech Solutions. Today, we're talking about setting a default font in Outlook. First things first, we want to navigate to the File and Options menu located on the left side of our screen. Once we've pulled up the Options menu, you want to select Mail from the categories listed and look for the Stationary and Default Fonts option. This is where we're going to be working today, so go ahead and click on that button on the right. So that's pulled up our Stationary and Signatures options, and the first thing we're going to look at is Themes. Now, you can choose from one of the pre-selected Outlook themes, and these give you a little bit of option for personalizing further. If you select vivid colors, you'll see that that's brightened up some of the colors. Um, for this theme, it's the hyperlinks. For another theme, if you select active graphics, you'll notice that certain graphics in the theme will change. You also have the option to add or remove background image in the theme. You'll see here that this adds a nice little texture. We're gonna go ahead and build our own theme, so select no theme and click OK. Let's move on to setting our default font for new messages. You'll have a lot of the same options that we had when we were updating our Outlook signature, like changing the color or underline style. You'll see that the preview allows you to preview the fonts, font types, and sizes that you select. We recommend a font size between 10 and 12, so let's choose 11. And you'll also notice that you have additional options like small caps or all caps. Hit OK to save your changes. We can also update our defaults for replies and forwarded messages. When you open up this menu, you'll notice that you have all of the same options that we had when updating our defaults for the new mail messages. For replies and forwards, you can choose the same or a different font and font style, or even size. Select OK to save your changes. With replies and forwards, we also have a couple extra options. You can choose to mark your comments with your name. So you simply select that box and type in the name you'd like to mark. You can also select the option to display a new color for your replies and comments on your forwards. Outlook gives us a lot of the same options for updating plain text compositions but keep in mind that these will only apply to the composition as the message will still be sent with the default font. Let's take a look at our hard work. We're gonna open a new message, start typing, and you can see that our font has updated to our new default for new messages. But what about our forwards and replies? I'm gonna open this message that I wanna forward, select the forward key, and start typing. Now, you're going to see that the color and font are different than the one for our new messages, and this is because we selected that change the color of my replies option. Now, when we go into the originally forwarded message and start typing, you'll see that it's added the name that we've typed into that box, and it's changed the color of the reply once we start typing. This is a really good way to highlight your changes or comments without having to do the extra work of changing them yourself. Thanks for watching. We upload new videos every week, so make sure that you like and subscribe if you want to stay up to date with our latest tech tips. Leave a comment on this video or any of our videos if there's something that you'd like to see us turn into a tech tip.